joining. Halloween is coming up and Kat and I think we have the best, spookiest dessert to make for Halloween. We are going to make bloody glass cupcakes. Doesn't that sound awesome? <laughs> we wanted to go away from the traditional orange and black and the pumpkin and add a little eerie to our video. So we are gonna make these cupcakes that have these sugar plain glass on them and some fake blood and it's gonna look gruesome and hopefully it'll taste awesome. For the details of the recipe, you can find them in the link below in our description. For the glass, it's super, super easy. All it is is sugar and water. So to a heated pan, we're going to add a cup of sugar, white sugar, and just a couple tablespoons of water. So it is really important to use a candy thermometer for this because you want to take it off of the heat at 300 degrees. Otherwise, it won't crack perfectly and your sugar is going to change color and you don't want that because you want it to be a clear uh, glass. I'm already nervous, Kat, because I don't have a thermometer and I'm, I don't know, whenever we bake anything, I just feel like mine doesn't come out quite as right. <laughs> but I want to try. I guess we have to wait for it to get to the temperature. It's only at 220 um, degrees and it's supposed, we're supposed to take it off at 300. I don't think mine's gonna work out. I'm calling it. <laughs> Cloudy. I don't know. Oh man. All right, try to. Clearly I won't do it the same way I did last time because that would just be crazy. Can we like call a friend? <laughs> We found another recipe that makes their own glass candy and we're gonna try that and instead of two ingredients it's actually four. Four. Okay. <gasps> it looks good. Okay, so if you're ready to make some blood we have the recipe for you. Okay, so the first thing we need is a lot of light corn syrup, one tablespoon of cornstarch. And to that, we're gonna add in a little water, just a tiny bit. Um, I'm probably gonna try to do like a half a teaspoon. We're gonna get into the fun part. Gory. I love it. This is fun. This part is fun. Let's take a look at our glass. I have a confession. This is my fourth try. It is lifting up, but it's That's not good. it's not shattering. This well, it's better than mine. Because mine's still liquid. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so to recap our horror, um, the first batch was too crystally still. It didn't have that clear liquid um, as the same as the second batch. Too crystally and cloudy. It wasn't clear and liquidy enough. However, it did break for me anyway. For me, it did break. So I did get shards, like glass shards. So it worked, but it's just foggy and actually kind of pretty because it's really sparkly. <laughs> I did as a backup have a couple of these scary cake 
uh, cupcake tappers. Good job on the blog. It's so gross. Oh. oh my gosh, this is awesome. <gasps> well, we don't need to do a taste test because I already had one. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's cupcake. Here's the challenge if you guys can replicate this at home, Make sure you uh, tag us on Instagram or Facebook or even below in the comments. If you make this, please let us know how it turned out for you and let me and Gina know what we did wrong. But thanks for joining us and hanging out with us, you know, trying to make some fun Halloween stuff. Uh, make sure you uh, like and subscribe to our channel and come back next week when Gina and I do more fun recipes that we find online. Thanks guys.